there's only one lineup outside of the jazz. Now there's only like one lineup in the NBA that could put out four guys capable of shooting over 36% from three. And that's the Philadelphia 76ers when they're fully healthy and their pace is so slow. It's like, they're not taking advantage of the roster that they have. And I'm not even a Sixers fan. Any, I'm not a Sixers fan anymore. You're not there, but like, I care about <laughs> bass, but I care about For basketball. Sure. You and I like, and basketball. I like to see it played. I want to see good basketball, damn it. And you want to see some of your guys that you rooted for still play good basketball. I understand. Thank you. Like, I'm the same way. Um, regardless of there or not, I still tap in to see what they're doing, who's doing well, and uh, how things have changed for them. So before we get to that, the other thing you can target is look at the schedule, who plays four and five nights, road games. Mm. There are some trap parts in certain team schedules, where there's back end, back to backs, where they have to travel of how far us coming back from Portland, five-hour flight, then have another game back-to-back, which is kind of crazy. There are trap situations. So now getting to Philadelphia, James is still a very good player, and there's not many teams that can win at a slow pace. But it's tough when you have James and Joel who need the slower pace to score. James, ultimately, I'm not saying that he is Luka Doncic, but they play similar styles of play. Now, Luka doesn't have a big man like Joel with him. He can just do his thing and have shooters around him. They play a little slower. He comes up the court. They still play a little faster than them, but he can play slow, get to his pick and roll spots and probe and pace and and score or find his shooters. James now has to pick and choose his moments, and I think they have to mix it up more with giving the ball, putting the ball in Tyrese's hand to give some more pace because he'll get the ball to the floor. But with James is, you know, getting into his stuff and you have Joel too posting up, that's a formula for very slow basketball. And you have a post up guy and a guy that likes to do pick and roll or do get in his bag at a slower pace like Luca. Um, you know, it's going to be tough, but I think they just, you know, find a way to balance it out, have a, you know, a little bit of obviously Joel is an MVP candidate, so you have to feed him the ball, but you can still do that at a faster pace. Um, but you have to mix in Tyrese, getting the ball in his hands a little more and, and taking James off of it some. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be tough to figure out because. Those both those guys, you know, need the ball in their hands and to play at a certain style to be effective. Yeah, I just I just don't think they're I just don't think that that their their styles don't maximize the roster. Like, and I and I and frankly, I think it just hurts the development of Tyrese Maxey. Like again, like it when when I used to see him in the corner just standing there, like waiting for a catch and shoot, I'm like, bruh. Yeah, Tyrese is that's not what he needs to be doing. Um, but so we'll see, you know, that's, that's, that's why Doc gets paid the big bucks to figure out how to, uh, I guess, manage egos and put pieces in the right place to make that puzzle fit or work. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a tough, cause it's too much. I feel like too much talent, too much, uh, stardom there to operate with, you know, James is a very good player. He's a star and he does what he does. Well, Tyrese is a very good, he's, he's a star player. So bias is a star player. Joel is a star player. You have four of those guys in the starting lineup. It's tough to manage. It's tough to figure out, you know, and it's hard to put any of those guys on the bench. How do you have one of them come with the bench? That's ridiculous. But at some point, somebody's got to sit down and be the Russell Westbrook, you know, and, and give their team a better look by coming off the bench and giving the other teams, you know, make them more dynamic and harder to guard and harder to prepare for when you, you know, split the lineup up a